This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you today talking about credit. Fixing your credit and what to do if you have bad credit and how to fix your bad credit situation. We all know credit is how we exist. It's in everything that we do today. In fact, our economy doesn't exist and function unless your ability to take on debt. So with that being said, find yourself a situation where you got bad credit. Let's go on some tips on how to actually to repair it and get yourself in a better standing. So number one tip, I'm giving you five tips here. Number one, find out what's actually on all three of your credit reports. I'm not talking about one here. Many times people actually pull out just one credit report. They look at what's on Equifax. I'm looking, talking about pulling every one of your credit reports and getting and gathering as much information so you can actually know where to how to start tackling to improve your credit report and actually your credit score. The best place, actually I should say the best, the best and the most official place to do that is by going to annualcreditreport.com. There, it's government regulated. The government allows you to pull all three of your credit reports from annualcreditreport.com and that's where you're gonna get your official credit reports from. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Pull all three of them from there and that's your starting point on how to improve your credit report, especially if you're, you find yourself in a bad credit. You gotta know where the starting point is. Going to annualcreditreport.com, pulling all three of your credit reports there will be the number one tip to get started with and how to improve your credit report. Number two, get a secured credit card. If you just type in a Google search with secured credit cards, something's going to come up showing you where you can obtain your, a secure credit card. What I mean by secured credit card is something that's backed by the money that you actually put in it. So secured by cash or capital that you utilize to uh, secure the card. Essentially what it is, is securing the card with cash. There's a number of places to go get one. I'm thinking of Capital One off, off the back that actually uh, offers a secure credit card, but there's other places as well. Credit Karma actually does a good job of listing the, the top secured credit cards to, to pull from. So you might want to look there and just type that Google search in. But your goal is to get a secured credit card. With that, and that's part A of that process, part B of it is actually keeping a revolving balance for at least six months. Your goal is to get the secured credit card. They're going to assign you a credit limit. Right? Your goal is not to pay it off every month is to keep a revolving balance under 31%. So what does that actually mean? So let's just make the assumption here that the secure credit card gives you a credit limit of $200. Your goal is to keep, to utilize that card and keep roughly a balance about $62 a month. Okay, you can go higher, but your goal is to get it back down to $62 a month. Not to pay it off, Once you, let's say you use the card and you bid up to 180 or 190, your goal is to pay it down to 62, not pay that balance down to zero, because that's going to establish a credit history. OK, and this helps out with you, especially if you haven't had if you had credit challenges in the past. I don't care where you at in your credit issues, especially if you don't have any credit cards or you've had bad credit or whatever the case. A secured credit card will actually help improve the credit report if you follow that step of keeping a revolving balance at least for six months under that 31 percent of that credit limit. Again, I'm utilizing the, the benchmark here of $200, but it could be any amount that they allow you because, again, it's based on your money. I'm using that as a small time frame, a small amount here that can be utilized in the best and what they can give you. But obtaining a secure credit card at least for six months and keeping a revolving balance under 31% will help improve that credit report, essentially improve that credit score, especially if you have bad credit. Number three taking the ciphering off of someone's good grace. And what I'm referring to is here is becoming an authorized user for someone who has actually good credit. So preferably it's gonna be a family member, someone you could trust, uh, a significant other, but you're gonna basically benefit by being an authorized user if they allow you to, uh, because you're gonna cipher off their good use because Essentially, you got to, this is the kicker in here. You got to make sure that this individual that you're looking to become an authorized user for is actually has good credit. And they don't even have to give you the credit card itself. They just have to sign you up as an authorized user. And you basically, you can cipher off their good graces and their good, and their good credit history and allows you to improve your credit for, especially if you got bad credit. Okay. 
Number four, and this is extremely important, it's kind of a two-step process. Learn how to dispute items on your credit report that are illegitimate. A lot of times there's wrong names, wrong addresses, different information on there. Leg legitimate, illegit I mean, illegitimate uh, debt information. If it's a legitimate debt, it's going to repair on your credit report. So don't have anything disputing everything. But you're going to learn how to type a Google search in, prepare a letter for dispute. Go back to the annualcreditreport.com. It allows you to actually learn how to dispute items right on that site itself. Okay. There's a number of ways of, of obtaining and how to write uh, a dispute letter. You can just, and that's a little past the scope today. We're just giving the five tips. Learn how to do that and be that part of the process. Because when you got all three of your credit reports, you're going to definitely probably find some items that can be disputed because you may not have any records or it may be illegitimate and not a reputable debt. Okay. So that's part of that process. It's a two-step process. The second thing is many people don't do this, but putting some kind of verbiage in your credit report of what the situation you've had in the past and what actions you're looking to do to take it. So let's say you had the real estate market crashed and you had to file bankruptcy. Let's use that example. Explain that as a little verbiage. I've had to file bankruptcy because I was in a market situation. I'm improving my credit. Make it short and sweet, and you can apply that into your credit report. So when creditors actually look to give you, to pull your credit report to make a decision, they can see that verbiage in what you, what was this particular situation, what are you doing to improve it? So that's number four. Okay? It's kind of a two-step process. That's number four. Uh, learn how to dispute the items, find out how to write the letter specifically. Secondly, putting a particular verbiage inside of your credit report, showing what the situation was and how you're looking to improve it. It has to be short and sweet because they only give you a certain amount of characters that you can pull out of that. But you can all do that on annualcreditreport.com. Number five, and this is a very important part of the process and the, the last tip here, is actually begin to pay items that are on your credit report. Even if you're not... Uh, paying them off, as long as you get something in writing, every positive step that you do will actually help improve that credit report. You won't believe, so people leave $25 to $30 that they just said, I'm not gonna pay this because I didn't agree with that. And, and, it, and it's actually legitimate debt because I've seen this, especially being a credit counselor in the past. And I would, did you know you have $30 here? Did you know that was a $40 medical debt? Yeah, I refuse to pay that. It's 20 or $30, that's it impacting your credit report. So begin to start paying those legitimate debts off, get everything in agreement in writing, and that will definitely start improving that credit report. So if you do those five tips, and I'm gonna add one more little bonus here, and that's for the FICO score software to get that officially. But if you do those five tips, one, finding out, pulling all three of your credit reports from the official place and your credit report .com, Number two, getting a secure credit card. Number three, learn how to be an authorized user from a good family member or someone you can trust. Number four, learning how to write a dispute letter. And number part of that also is to then put a verbiage on what the challenge was that you had in the past and how you're looking to improve it, make it short and sweet. Number five, actually beginning to pay off those legitimate debt that's on your credit report even if you don't pay them off or they you can actually as long as you're starting to do any positive action towards paying those debts it will help improve the credit score and improve the credit report and this is the bonus kicker here get your official credit score and i'm not talking about going to credit karma here your official credit score can also be found at annualcreditreport.com disclaimer nominal fee that's involved with it but the fee is very small and it's worth it because you get your official credit score and your official credit report from annualcreditreport.com. These five tips with that extra bonus will definitely get you in a better situation and improve your credit score and credit report if you have bad credit. And just in general, all of these tips work even if, you're, even if you have decent credit and you're looking to improve it for other future person to obtain more credit and obtain and allow you to have a, a larger credit line. So utilize those five tips with that bonus 
you'll be on the way to improving your credit report and your credit score, especially if you got bad credit. Until my next video, I'm out.